Hello everyone, I was scrolling on Twitter a few days ago and saw what may be one of the most disturbing things I've ever seen. This is a tweet from The Daily Friday. It says $7,000 is a small price to pay for the valuable lessons learned and humiliation opportunities in alpha male boot camps like these. Now, I immediately saw this video and we'll watch it together. It made me think of McKamey Manor in the way that it's like, oh, you're an absolute psychopath if you're trying to do this and paying for it? What? Here's the video. Oh. Here's why. Here's why. Here's why. Are you touching me? Are you touching me? Are you touching me? Get the fuck off me. Get the fuck off me. I'm not touching you. I'm not touching you. So as you can see, they're obviously in like a pretty wealthy neighborhood. These almost look like sound stages here. You've got a golf cart. You've got be it's beautiful out, by the way. And this is what you're like intending to do outside. You've got like ex-military people just throwing bags into what looks like melted ice baths. I'm Get the fuck off of me! I'm not you touching little bitch! You. I'm not touching you, fucking bitch! Oh, you're getting the fuck tough. They're all no, scratched up like I crazy. This one guy just has ch full chains on, like a Flava Flav clock thing. Everyone, you get in the tub. Get There's in hammers the here. Get in the tub. Get in the tub. There is no respect. Get in the tub. You are going home. Oh, no, you're not. Sit down. You're not going in the fucking water. They're all going in the water. They're all going in the water. You're fucking done. You're fucking done. Holy shit. So I watched this video and I automatically felt bad for the guys who paid this kind of money. Like there's obviously something that's not going well in your personal life where you drop 7k on this to get the shit beat out of you by uh, Mr. Clean, it looks like. But I was curious to know, what is this? Where do we go from here? It, it, did this end up being decent promotion? Also, please, please, please become a member. It is how I'm surviving. It is how I'm eating. And I would absolutely appreciate it greatly. I have days and days and days of content for you to watch that will never be released in any other way. So please, please, please check it out. I appreciate you all. I did a little bit of research and found out that this is something called the MDK Project. Your family deserves the best version of you as a leader, husband, and father. It's only for entrepreneurs, executives, and leaders. I guess as a YouTuber, I'm considered a entrepreneur, but holy shit, if, <laughs> if it came down to it and I was, you know, forced to, like there was a draft for this, I would no longer be an entrepreneur. I would dodge this draft 100%. Um, the location is the Project Compound, and they've sold this out fucking every single time. That's terrifying. It's seven grand. You start an application. It takes three minutes. Now, the application I looked at, it's not really an application. It's like, how much do you make and like, how much are you willing to spend, basically? And then I did a little bit more diving, and we find out that the founder of this project is somebody who I... I've made a video about in the past. Bedros Kaluian. He created this fucking project. I watched some of his TikToks. He was a silly fella. And like, I mean, okay, look at these instructors. Bedros Kaluian, Steve Eckert, who is a US Marine, Nick Kolomatsos, modern day night project instructor. Modern day night project instructor, great, former Navy SEAL, and Chris White Weishman. Now, okay, is this what's going to happen when people get out of the military? Look at this. These look like fucking hostage photos. Are you kidding? What are you actually learning from this? Oh, and don't worry, we'll get to the waterboarding. Now, they do have this video. It says, watch this video and discover your purpose. I personally thought that we could watch it together and see if we're discovering who we are. Gentlemen, welcome to the project. Great lighting. The project is a 75 hour experience. It's for men just like you who know that you're meant for more, who know that you might have areas in your life that you're not performing at your highest level. You know you've got Axes. greater potential and there's a higher purpose for you here. Weapons. The project the is not an experience. Sorry, I look at this like I don't give a fuck about any of this, but I do look and I want to count head 7, 14, 21. 7, 14, 21. We're at $42,000 for 75 hours, right? Uh, 48,000, um, 21, 21, 48. So we're at 96,000. There's a body here. So it looks like we're at $103,000 around. Over $100,000 in seven 75 hours is pretty phenomenal, Bedros. I am proud of you on that. Project is not an experience. It's also... Yeah! Hug. That's right. Let's play fucking flag football. That Nothing's more badass than playing a fucking playground game. A process. It's like administering chemotherapy to a cancerous 
area of the body. No, it's it's just not though. Walking with a fucking American flag up a mountain is nothing like chemotherapy, Bedros. And it's going to unearth and expose who you are. This may cause cancer because of all the stress induced. The physical oh, yeah, challenging that out. you go through is purpose driven. Every <laughs> single. <laughs> this is like uh, me and a few of my buddies in middle school in a basement or something. Just fucking hitting each other with shit. Single evolution is purpose driven. Every single That's evolution right, creates calm. opportunity for four things. Oh yes, lead, there's my water border. To show emotional discipline, to communicate, and to problem solve. Right, so it's literally just McKamey Manor. I would like a documentary on this. I want somebody to go on the inside of this and say uh, what kind of paperwork they had to sign. <laughs> um, and then from that website, I found their Instagram account and that's where it gets fucking weird. I mean, it's already been weird, but that's where it gets real weird. So they have 106,000 followers on Instagram and it says uh, a 76 hour crucible and 12 month mentorship for men. Now, I don't know what a mentorship is considered in this, right? Like, is that included in the 7K? <laughs> where do we go from here, I guess? How many people are able to like guide you? How many mentors are there? And then you look at graduates, right? Look at all of these graduates. Oh my gosh. I want to be just like them. Absolutely. They all look so, ha everybody looks ecstatic in this. Oh my God. I found a new love for life. And then finally, we've got the fake podcasts. Of course, the podcasts that don't get posted anywhere, but let's make a studio and make it look like we're recording an actual podcast. People of what the MDK project. Yeah. Is. So the Modern Day Night Project is a personal and business development program for men. And it's 75 hours run by an entrepreneur, a Navy SEAL, a Marine, there's a SWAT officer, you know, just people with different skill sets in life. It's 75 hours of physical challenges, business development, it's emotional training. And what you see on the Instagram highlights is just people being hazed boot camp style or like, you know, military training or on the beach. But you're paying for this, no? Like, I feel like military hazing is something that nobody really signs up for. I feel like it's something that people have to endure to be in the military. And I, I don't even know if that's a real thing. I think it probably is. But all you're doing is getting off on the fact that you can haze these people and they're giving you money. It's like a, a sugar baby, sugar daddy complex where it's like, yeah, my babies give me money and I still treat them like shit. The fuck? Low sleep, high physical exhaustion. But in between that, all those things that they do is just very intentional to help teach you a lesson and mirror back how you'd respond in very stressful situations situations. So when I was leaving my brother's shop, I needed help with business. Like I didn't know how to run or manage a business. I was like, who can be my mentor and coach? So Bedros Koulian, who's the founder of the project, I signed up for him for business coaching. All of these people have to have business. Like, uh, you can't be doing everything all at once, right? Like the A24 movie. You kind of have to do it piece by piece. No, I feel like there's a difference, a huge difference between business coaching and waterboarding. Possibly. One is a, is a, in a torture method. Method. The other one is uh, something that may help you, possibly. I don't know who Bedros Kaluian is, but if he has fucking hundreds of people paying him thousands and thousands of dollars a month to be his coach, I mean, fuck, maybe he knows something I don't. First couple calls were all personal calls. Like, help me out with my brother. How do I deal with this? I can't get to do this next step in business because like I'm feeling this sort of way. And he's like, well, we have the project and I think this would solve a lot of your problems if you went through. All right, all right. so he's selling you on the next thing. The next big thing. <laughs> you know, you can actually get in on this new project. Um, it's called the MDK project and you're actually going to be our first person. And the whole time, I'm not kidding you, we uh, put clamps on your testicles and electrocute you for 75 hours straight. And in turn, your Shopify sales are going to go up. It. So if your coach tells you to jump, you say, okay, like we're going to go jump. So I signed up for the project. I had one month of prep for it. As you expect, a lot of just physical challenges and you're just pushing yourself to the limit and you get to see like, what were your breaking points. And then we started to go deeper and deeper in terms of the trauma aspect, which is like, we're going to find out why you're so fucked up as a man and like help you unfuck yourself. All right. But you just had a bunch of nothing. It's this big secret. You want to help so many men, but you're like, yeah, I mean, we're all really fucked up and I've got a lot of trauma, but the only way that you can find out what your trauma is and how to unfuck yourself, it, they're making it seem like it's just like a magical
magical pill that you can take and all of your problems go away. But it seems like, it seems almost as though 75 hours is not enough to unfuck yourself. <laughs> Here's another Instagram reel that they posted that actually got a bunch of backlash and I am super appreciative for it. There's nothing wrong with men wanting to do something hard to better themselves. And it does better crawling you. crawling with a hammer. It's not just all screaming and yelling and that was the one time I think I yelled actually because a couple guys pissed me off but it's not all just screaming and yelling but I did yell because a few pissed me off and if you pissed me off I'm gonna get in your face I'm gonna be honest I'm, I'll do irreparable damage to you it's it is actually a good thing for you men us men to push ourselves and challenge ourselves outside of our comfort zones well, this is the reason anybody, why it's good for you're anybody. in the situation that we in because we don't want to do the hard things we want to choose the easy road all the time and some people are like just do jujitsu or just join the military half of those dudes were veterans the freaking honor guard was a 275 ranger so now what we have stages and chapters in our life that we have to continue to improve we have to i know but but the, the 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 examples that were just given are professions those are things that you can do to make money and not spend it like i understand that we're trying to justify why you should give this guy so much money but it's okay though it's okay if you want to push yourself you can do it in different ways <laughs> maybe for free even continue to push ourselves joining the military is not always the option okay jiu-jitsu is great i've been at jiu-jitsu almost four years it's not the same yes is it good for you should men do it yes but it's not the same it's not a it's not a comparison are a replacement for doing hard things. It's just another tool in your toolbox. So <laughs> what you need to do right now, literally as we speak, is sign up for this fucking MDK project. Holy shit, man. Let's hear another video of what's going on at the MDK project and uh, if we need to send some other Navy SEALs to stop this operation. In the water. Fuck your gear. Don't throw it in the water. What's up guys, Ray Cash Care here, and I have Ray been Cash Care. getting a few messages from people bitching, moaning, griping, and aching about the project, and why shouldn't they fucking just join the military? Well, here's a few reasons. Number one, 30% of our fucking graduates are prior military first responders and LEOs. Second, there's some- So that doesn't mean anything though. That doesn't. Just because you are prior military doesn't mean- That actually may support the claim more that people want to join the military first before doing this, right? I don't know what his- argument there was 36% of the military people weren't satisfied in the military so they spent $6,000 to get the shit beat out of them. Individuals that don't want to commit four years of their fucking life doing something when they're already successful. Third, 99% of the people that are bitching about this say go be a SEAL. You are the motherfuckers that wouldn't even be a Navy SEAL. You wouldn't make it. This course is not just 75 hours. It's for men who want to become part of something for a lifelong brotherhood. A lifelong brotherhood. At a cost though. But it'd be there for each other to address the traumas that each man has taken in throughout their life. So what we do here is we are men who have oh, been there and done scene that. Scene change. Each other in through the tough times because no one else is doing that because everybody else is trying to just profit from it. What we're trying to do is- Hey, man, if you are not profiting from this project, you are getting fucked. What do you mean? He's saying everybody else is trying to profit from it. You're not. You're not getting any funds. <laughs> what the fuck? Just make men better from the inside out. So if you don't like that, fuck you. Back. Well, fuck me then, you know? <laughs> oh my god. And lastly, this is probably what will demonetize this video. Um, This is what goes on, I guess, at the MDK project. Now, gentlemen, fucking pay for this. You want to be here. This is where you want to be. Put your head down and quit. Put your head down or quit. Get it back. Put your head down or quit. You know what? Stand up. Stand the fuck up. Dude, the guy surfing in the back watching. It's like, what the fuck kind of kinky shit is this? What is, what the hell is happening right now? I'm trying to ride the gnar and uh, these people are lit, like they're rock hard while getting waterboarded. Hey, don't right break now. your chain. Hey. hey. Don't break. Oh yeah. Don't break your chain as well. God damn it. This is like going on a school field trip and having a teacher just scream at you. Cleansing your souls, gentlemen. The average person will watch this and think, why are they doing this? Because being a strong, formidable man worth following means that you first must suffer. Suffering will make you more resilient and help you better endure hardship. And above all, suffering can become fun. Okay. So I, I actually have a counterpoint to this or a question, I guess. Are these people who have never suffered? If you're signing up to suffer, 
suffer, this is supposed to be that traumatic event that switches you? Like, these are people who have never dealt with seemingly anything in their lives. You're doing this to then cause suffering, which will then make you a stronger man. But is it not pathetic that you weren't already strong after being resilient to hardship? You know what I mean? Like, growing up in fucking wheelchairs and hospitals made me, like, a different human that made me more resilient to shit. These people are all wearing the exact same things, like uh, Heaven's Gate or whatever. And this is like, this is good? This is good. You want to show your fucking family what you're doing? Do you? Holy shit. You guys are making fun of OnlyFans, girls, and then paying 7k to go get waterboarded for people's enjoyment. My god. Oh shit. This person's saying 15k, 18k. This looks fun. I want to join. Okay, is it 18k? <gasps> this is interesting. I mean, is there any... There's no pricing online, of course. Oh, there it is. The project is $18,000. They upped the price from two years ago. And why are there no women? <laughs> wow. $18,000. Don't be one of these men. Oh, yeah. Hey, fix your fucking website, dude. Can't even read that. And then these are testimonials from people who got absolutely fucked financially. Oh, a Helen Keller quote. If Helen Keller tried to sign up, you wouldn't let her in. Upcoming classes, apply now. The project is $18,000. Oh, my God. For 75 hours. Holy shit. This is fucked. You don't need to be an athlete, but you should be able to do... Okay, so you're 18 years old. 75... <laughs> Sleeping will be kept to a minimum. Yeah, how how fucking discounts are given to veterans? Great. Your air is not included, but your food, room, and transportation is. Thank Christ Almighty. Some men do not graduate. You can only drop out by ringing the bell, or if the instructors say you're unable to continue. In which case, you can uh, roll over into the next class. Oh my God. Is there any? What happens to those who try to make it and then ring the bell and then want to try again? You have to pay three k to rejoin. Oh, in there. Of course, non-refundable. Great. I absolutely love this. I would love to sign up and end up looking like this at the end. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, then please leave a like and subscribe. Thank you to all my members for supporting me. If you want to become a member, then click the link in the description below. Also check out Never Stop, my clothing brand and fund for people with chronic illness. 10% of all profits from the clothing brand go into the fund. Also apply if you need financial help. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll talk to you later.